Welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov guide video. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to effectively farm military equipment and attachments, as well as rare attachments such as the Ultimac K and Rotor 43 suppressors. This guide will be in two parts. Today, we're going to be talking about the farming routes for military attachments and finding rare attachments in the game, which can be used to complete your missions or to make a decent amount of money. Also, if you're going to be doing a hardcore challenge, this might be interesting for you. The next video will be a task guide for mechanic gunsmithing missions 12 through 16, which require the following attachments we're going to be looking for in this video today. Here is a list of the following attachments you are going to need to collect from your raids to complete these tasks. The Magpul AFG Grip OD. The Rotor 43 5.56-45 Muzzle Break. Skeletonized AR-15 Pistol Grip The LAS TAC-2 Flashlight The Rotor 43 7.60x39 Muzzle Brake And the M14 Ultimac Upper Rail System All of these attachments are able to spawn in any military container in the game, on any map, at any time, scab backpacks, and can also spawn loosely where military attachments spawn. And there's also rooms on shoreline that have rare attachment spawn chances that can increase the probability of you finding these items. The first military run I'm going to be talking about is by far my favorite and I believe it's the most efficient. Depending on what part of the map you spawn on will dictate where you begin this loot run, but I recommend that you go directly to these containers at the very beginning of your raid so you have less competition and you can increase the chance of finding these attachments. And I also want to mention that we will not be hitting every single little nook and cranny on these maps. I'm just going to be running in a direct line and hitting as many containers that follow that line and going to the extraction for the most efficient time looting. The first military loot run we're going to be doing is on interchange. So depending on what side of the map you are on, you might want to do this run in reverse. But for the sake of this video, we're going to be starting on the northwestern side of interchange. Start running directly to Ikea. When you get to Ikea, you want to actually go into the garage that is directly below it. There, you'll notice that there's a bunch of military tents that are scattered around and probably a couple scavengers. Inside the military tents will be some military boxes that you can loot. So you want to start on the western side and move yourself east underground, continuing to check each green military tent and any tables that are nearby for attachments that might be spawning loosely. That also goes inside the tents, there are loose attachments that can sometimes spawn. After you loot the group of green tents that are sort of under the middle of the garage, you'll keep moving east until you see a white pickup truck, and then off to your left you'll see the escalators that go up to the front of Goshen. First, go to that white pickup truck and open up the back. There's a military container. Then, face towards the escalator that goes to Goshen, and on the left-hand side wall, there's going to be a black military crate, and then on the right-hand side of that black military crate, a little bit further down the wall, will be a large gray container. There's also a few tables scattered around this area, so make sure you keep an eye out for those. After you looted these military containers, continue moving east underground until you see the ceiling that's collapsed. Under the ceiling ramp is a gray military container. Hit that. Next, move up the collapsed ramp into the interchange, and on your direct right-hand side, you'll notice that there's a generic store with a tank that's sticking out the front door. Go inside of that room and hang a left. There'll be a military crate that's below a table. To the right of that will be a black military crate. To the right of that will be yet another military crate. There's also a potential DVL spawn, a gazelle spawn on the mannequin, and there's even a gold chain spawn next to one of the beds. Now you want to leave the generic store to the exit that is just to the left of the mannequin and move down the hallway towards the front of Goshen. Move through the stores to the front of the Goshen cash registers and then hang a right. Keep moving down that wall and you'll see that there's some kiosks like, tra like travel agency kiosks or whatever you would want to call them. Inside of one of the kiosks there's going to be a military crate on the ground. Just use this video as a reference, it's kind of hard to explain. Then you want to leave the kiosk and go to the right hand side and there's going to be a grey military container that's along that back wall. Now you want to go back to the center of Goshen and start moving towards the storage in the very back of the store. You'll see that there's two exits that lead towards a bunch of military vehicles that are kind of stacked together and a bunch of tables. 
In between the two entrances to Goshen will be a gray military container along that wall. Make sure that you check all the tables and all the crates that are around the military vehicles back there. That's actually where I found my LAS Tactical 2. Just west of the military tables, there's going to be a military crate that is tucked away on the left hand side behind a box. Make sure you hit that. Once you hit that, go back towards the military tables, hang a left and go immediately outside. In the back of a white van will be a military container. I also want to mention that there is an MPX spawn on top of one of the military trucks, but it's not really an attachment that you really need, but you do need an MPX for one of the missions, so it's completely up to you. Once you've hit all those spawns, move east behind Goshen in the storage area towards the southeastern extraction point. Eventually, you'll notice that there's a bunch of containers that are sitting together on the right-hand side just before you would exit outside. Facing the exit outside, hang a right and go to the containers that are in the back right wall. You're going to notice some barrels that are stacked up next to it. Jump on top of the barrels, then jump on top of the container to loot your first military crate. Then turn around and face the exit and start jumping on top of the containers until you'll notice a gray military crate that is sitting up top. Loot that. Then jump down and inside the container that has the gray military box on top of it is yet another military container. Once you loot that, head outside of the container, hang a left, another left, and go behind the container and there's another black military crate. This might sound confusing so just use the video as the guide. Once you hit all the containers, head to the southeast extraction point and rinse and repeat. The next location is going to be for rare attachments. So this is going to cover your suppressors, your Rotor 43, 556, and 7.62 by 39 suppressors, and your M14 Ultimac M8 upper part. These are very rare attachments that are going to be difficult to find inside of those military containers on interchange. It is possible, you're just going to have to get really lucky or search quite often. An easier way to acquire these items is in two rooms on Shoreline that have rare attachment spawns. These rooms are 328 East Wing and 316 East Wing. Now first you're going to have to get your hands on the keys. For 328, this spawns on the scavenger island next to the motor that's on the table in the center. Or you can collect the storage key which spawns on the second floor on the east wing just under the key rack in the storage room next to the northern stairwell. For 316 you want to go to woods. Next to the white van that's in the water that you need to go to for the chemical mission there's going to be a suitcase that is laying on the floor open. Inside of that suitcase spawns 316. All of these keys also can spawn in scavenger backpacks and pockets, so make sure that you check while you kill them. Once you get these keys, head to Shoreline's Health Resort in the East Wing to level 3, unlock the doors, and you want to be searching around the nightstands in each room. That's where the rare items spawn. Don't forget to search the rest of the rooms though, because there's lots of cool little items, especially in the rooms that are adjacent on the balconies as well. 328 in the storage room has some gold chain and roller spawns, and it's basically just a treasure loot spawn, and also frequently spawns graphic cards, which sell for a lot and can be used for a task. 316 is no different. It's full of great items that you can collect and boxes that you can loot. I found a Reaper IR thermal scope and the new Night Vision 3.5x scope in these rooms just while looking for the Ultimac attachment. There's lots of rooms in Shoreline that have military containers, but I recommend hitting these two rooms, leaving, rinse, and repeat for the ultra rare attachments. I think it's a better use of your time than just hitting the military containers on Shoreline, and it's much safer to just get there first, hit the rooms, and leave. If you want to hit consecutive military containers, it is much faster to just do it on interchange and safer than Shoreline. Now I'm going to throw in a wild card, and this is a wild card because this is where I found my Ultimac attachment for the M14, and this is where a lot of other players have found it as well, and that's on Woods. Assuming you spawn on the scav house side, you want to move to the scope shack. On the boxes inside the scope shack is where you're going to be finding rare attachments, like suppressors, optics, and possibly something you're looking for for these missions. After you hit Scope Shack, it's optional to cross the open field to hit ZB14 if you have the key. 
there's a green military containers in that bunker that possibly will have what you're looking for. It's a little dangerous and it might take up a little bit too much time, but there are containers that are along that wall that head towards the checkpoint. For me, after I hit the scope shack, I run directly to the checkpoint to loot the black military container next to the SUV. From there, I go directly to the blue tin and loot the black military container and the gray military container. If I'm feeling risky, I'll go outside and there's a, a military container that's in the back of a truck and another black military container. And then I wanna head to the middle red tin and there is going to be a box that has attachments that are scattered loosely. That is where I found my Ultimec M14 upper part. And that is where a lot of other players found it too. So I recommend searching there. And after that, if I'm still searching for the uh, 316 key, I'll go to the van and check the suitcase, or I'll go to the middle residence and hit the safe and the grenade box, and then I'll start to move towards the RUAF extraction, which has a green military container and a black military container. If you're feeling ballsy in the middle of that open field where all the concrete rubble is, there's actually a military container in there, but I actually don't bother hitting any of the green boxes at all. Um, I just find that I just wasn't able to find anything that I was looking for there, but you might be able to get the AFG OD green there if you're lucky or anything that's on your list. I just find these containers have a higher probability and have better items overall. So I like to hit those and then rinse and repeat. So here's what I would recommend. I commonly find the LAS Tactical 2 loosely on tables and boxes that spawn military attachments. I found both of my suppressors inside of military containers, but I've also found a suppressor in 328 recently. I would find the skeletal pistol grip inside of military containers, and I would look for the Ultimac rail system inside of 328 and 316, even though I found mine loosely on a box on woods. I actually want to add, I found two Ultimacs in two days in the middle red tin on woods on the boxes. And those are my farming runs on how I found all my attachments for the gunsmithing missions. For a complete breakdown on every single attachment that you need and how to build the weapons for gunsmithing 12 through 16, please wait a few more days. I'm going to be getting that out on my channel, or you can just check out the Escape for Tarkov wiki. Everything that you need to know will be there. Thanks again for watching. If you found this video useful, make sure you subscribe for more Escape from Tarkov content. Also check out my daily live streams every single morning starting at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and Sundays at noon. And let me know what you think in the comment section below.